Hey guys, Yannick here for Yannick's Photo School. I'm back with a new video. It's been a long time, but uh, with Lightroom 3 out, I couldn't resist uh, giving you guys new tutorials. Um, also, I just got a new microphone that works great with Windows 7. That's what That was another one of my problems before. My old mic just wasn't working properly on Windows 7. I splurged, got myself a great mic, and uh, I'm back with some video tutorials for you guys. All right, today we're going to go through Lightroom 3, one of my favorite new features. Actually, it's not a new feature, it's a new improved feature, which is luminance noise reduction. We'll actually go through the whole noise reduction process together, and at the end of this tutorial, I'll throw in a couple of uh, new tweaks that they did in Lightroom 3, and then you'll be the judge whether or not it's worth upgrading from 2, if you already have Lightroom 2, to Lightroom 3. Alright, let's get right to it. First thing, here's a uh, shot that I took with my D300S at ISO 1600, so there is some noise in there. Uh, let me zoom in. Let's do a 3 for 1 zoom. All right. If you don't have 3 for 1 selected by default, usually it'll be 2 for 1. Just click here and you can select your default second zoom beside the 1 for 1 here. Um, I think by default it's 2 for 1. I like doing it 3 for 1. All right. Once you've done that, you can see in this image there's some color noise and some just regular noise or luminance noise. So the first thing we want to do is get rid of the color noise. You need to go into your detail panel, scroll down, and uh, go to noise reduction right here. Now, if you're working on files that weren't imported in Lightroom 3, that were already in Lightroom 2 and you want this function, uh, just make sure that you go down to camera calibration, and the first box up here is process, and make sure 2010 current is, che is checked. All right, perfect. Now let's go back to our noise reduction. First thing we want to do is work our color noise out. Now you don't have to go all the way to 100. You just want to move your slider until you see that the noise is gone. And then if you keep moving it a little bit, nothing really changes after that. In my case, 30 does a great job. Now you can play with the details slider here. Um, by default, it's at 50, at 50. But if you remove it, uh, it just... Um, actually muffles the uh, color in the edges in your images. If you go all the way, it uh, puts a little bit more contrast on the edge here. Um, I think 50 was about right for this type of image. Again, it's a question when, you, when you're working with detail and contrast in the luminance noise. It's all a question of feeling and each image will be different for you. Now, the Pièce de résistance here in Lightroom 3, what I've been meaning to show you and what I'm most excited about is the luminance noise reduction. This increases my workflow a lot. I don't see myself using a third-party noise reduction like Noise Ninja or Topaz Denoise, which I used to use a lot, which means I don't need to go into Photoshop anymore, so that saves me a lot of time. So all I need to do is take the luminance slider and slide it until I feel I have a good feeling. Now I don't want to remove everything and make it look muddy. If I bring it to 100%, um, you can see that there's nothing left. Uh, we're not. Uh, uh, we, that's not really the feel we want. We don't want like a, a watercolor feel to our image. We still want some grain in there. Um, and I think that moving it to about uh, 30 or 40 does a great job. It gives me like an ISO 200 feel to the image, um, which is something that I like a lot. So I'm keeping it that way. And um, it also, this is what I like too, it preserves a lot of the detail. Now of course there is a give and take and you are losing some of that detail and that's why there's these two sliders. If I bring it down to zero and we move it up a little bit, I think at around 30, does a good job here. Now you don't want to bring it all the way to 100, you can see what happens there. You, there's some artifacting and you're reducing image quality a lot, and we don't want that. So let's bring it back down, around 30, looks good. And the same thing for contrast, play with it, uh, bring the sliders, and again it, it can add some um, some artifacting in there. For this image, I don't even need to use contrast. Uh, it'll It'll actually 
accentuate the uh, contrast between uh, colors uh, in your images on the edges. So in some images you might think that it's useful, in others not. In this case, I think I like it just the way it is without any contrast. And here's our image, and this is our final uh, image. Now again, this image was not processed before, nothing was done to it, it was straight raw file. That's the other advantage, is that with third party you'd be working on a TIFF or a JPEG, here we're working straight on the raw. So this is great. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the noise reduction part of it, and as promised, I'm going to add in a few new features um, that don't necessarily uh, need a full tutorial for it. Now one of the things that I really like about the develop module now is they've added the collections panel here so we do not need to go back into our library um, to select images or even create new collections straight there, delete them from there. You do not have to go back into the library module. Once you're in develop, you stay there and you work with your collections straight from there. Create new ones, whatever. It's all in the develop module. This will save you a lot of time if, of course, you are using collections. And um, the, another really, really cool feature is when you when you use the adjustment brush before you'd have uh, just the, the the like the button type uh, things and you'd have to click on a button to get all your sliders. Um, what's great here is that it's there by default now. You just have the sliders. Uh, and what's also great, which used to uh, be really confusing for me when I was especially using the gradient tool, was the color option. You never knew if the color was on or off because it would only you would only see the last color used. And here, when the color's off, there's an X. It's a white box with an X, and that's great. At least you know that. If you're moving your sliders around, and another neat feature here is you click the Alt key on the PC, and right here where it says Effect reset appears and you just click that and it brings everything back to zero instead of double clicking on each double clicking to bring them back to zero you can just press alt on your PC I think it's command on the Mac and then just click reset and it resets everything back to zero so just a few nice little uh, tweaks here in Lightroom 3 that I perfectly enjoy is it worth the upgrade f from Lightroom 2 for you to check out go check out some videos on all the all the features I'll be posting a couple more but uh, you can go to the NAP website and uh, they have tons of uh, uh, videos on exactly what what's new in Lightroom 3 and then you can decide whether or not the upgrade is worth it for you this is Yannick Shomai signing out for Yannick's Photo School, and we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.